Globalisation has hit UK textile companies hard. In the Scottish borders town of Hoyk, many factories have closed. Recently, 80 jobs went at this Pringle site, which in the 1960s employed 2,000 people. But on the other side of the river, Johnson's, the cashmere clothing specialist, has resisted competition from high-volume, low-cost factories like these in China. The company claims quality is the path to continuing survival. What the Chinese luxury consumer wants is not a product made in China. And so the Chanel's, the Burberry's, the Louis Vuitton want product that's coming out of Europe, principally out of Scotland, thank goodness. So the product authenticity and provenance are really, really important now, and that's very good for what's left of the industry. To get that quality, Johnson's strategy is to control its entire production chain. But does this work? In Mongolia, it buys directly from the farmers that gather the cashmere wool from goats. In Scotland, this is spun, dyed and woven in Elgin, and it's knitted and finished in Hoik, where now, crucially, at the end